The phasing feature of Revit has been around for quite a long time now. Last year we were introduced to the parts functionality and in this release of 2013 it's been upgraded with new features and enhancements. Aside from the new features and enhancements, we're going to look at how we can marry the two features together to more accurately do construction modeling when it comes to new construction which involves demolition of an existing structure. Now in terms of demolition, we do the same thing we do typically when we set up phasing. We create the phases of our project. Here you can see that I have existing and new construction. We develop views and we assign those views to that phase and then we use phase filters to help graphically override the elements based on their status. Status being defined by their two parameters, phase created and phase demolished. Now what happened was in older releases of Revit, if we wanted to demolish something, we would simply come into the demolition plan that we have set up and we would select our little hammer here and go demolish that object. And what we would see is that in 3D views it would display as a red object, kind of translucent. Uh, here in my existing view you can see that it's still there because it hasn't happened yet because uh, I'm divided by time. But what happens when we want to demolish a particular layer of a wall? Perhaps let's say the drywall layer on the one side or the brick on the exterior facade. How do we do that? Well in older releases we would have to make two walls that would be parallel to one another and then we would just demolish the one wall which would be that one layer of that assembly. Well with the advent of parts we can get around that. So what are parts? Parts are the individual components that make up assemblies of walls, floors, ceilings, and roofs. Let's look at it in more detail. I'm going to pick this exterior wall in the existing view here and edit its type. If I go to its structure and look at the assembly, you'll notice all the layers that make it up, or as I'm calling them, the components of the wall. These are what will eventually become parts. And when they become parts, we can manipulate them individually, even via phasing. So let's take a look at how it works. I'm going to select OK here and let's just dive out of the selection step for a moment and talk about one other key parameter that we'll deal with when it comes to the views. It's this guy here called Parts Visibility. Now you'll notice here that my view for the existing plan is set to show parts. So when I go and convert my walls or my floor or my ceiling or my roof to parts, I will see the parts immediately. By default, it's set to show original. So just be aware of the fact that if you're going to display parts, you must tell your view to show them. Here I've already done it in my existing view. So let's go and initiate the parts process. I'm going to tab select my exterior walls. And now I'm going to come up to my create panel on the modify tab and select create parts. This will actually break the walls down into their individual layers. You'll notice that if I zoom in on the corner, I can see how all the parts that make up that wall. Now, a couple of things you should note about parts is the ability to control them beyond their original state. So I'm going to select these two parts here of the brick layer, and you'll notice over here that I can turn on what are called shape handles. So if I select individually, one at a time, each layer of the brick, I can drag those layers of the wall independently. So what does this do for me now? Well this gives me the ability to manipulate how those come together or, or join in a sense. Aside from that, if I pick one of the layers, you'll notice that I can come down and I can see its material is defined by the original wall itself. In this case it's brick, but I can override that. So I can come in here and basically change the material of the part and it won't affect the original wall. Then we come down to phasing. Now the two parameters that have always been there for the last several releases are still available. Phase created and phase demolished. These help define the status of the objects. When we deal with parts, there's two new parameters here called phase created by original, phase demolished by original. So the original wall is controlling the phase status right now of these parts. And we're going to look at how we break that. So let's take a look at the demolition 3D view here, for example. I'm going to come up here and set the view to show parts. Now that I have that set up, I can actually zoom in and you'll see that it's showing the individual parts of the wall. And now let's say we want to demo the whole brick layer. So we're going to demo the brick part of that wall. 
I just select that brick part. I come down and uncheck the box here for phase demolished by original. And then I go grab my demolish tool. And when I pick that part, it turns red as expected. But it leaves behind the entire remainder of the wall, of the stud, the air gap, and so on. Now to show that correctly in my demolition plan, I just simply have to come over here and show parts. And as you would expect, I zoom in and I can see that the brick part has been demolished. Just like the whole wall was over here when I originally demolished that wall. So let's say we want to go back and not demo the entire brick facade, but portions of it. This is where we can get really creative and constructive with it. So what do I got to do? Well, I got to pick that wall as if I would, and then again, uncheck that phase demolished by. But here's the fun part. I'm going to divide it into parts. So I'm going to select divide parts. And what I want to do is sketch the divisions on to the facade here. So I'm going to edit the sketch of that part. And I'm going to set my work plane to be the face of that part. And now I can sketch. So let's say we just want to remove a section up here. So I'll just draw on a straight line and an angle over like that. And then let's also say we want to remove a panel here within the layer of the wall. And then we finish our division. And what's left behind is these little notches in the, the part of the brick. Now that we have those set to the option here not to use the original, we can come now and demolish them. So I can pick those and you'll see that it does a partial demolition of those. So this is really key in helping us to more accurately display partial selective demolition when we're doing phasing and resin.